As sleek as a contemporary art object, this ancient sculpture is over 5,000 years old. Crafted during Egypt's old kingdom, it wasn't made just to be looked at. This head is so perfectly done. You have no doubt that um, the need to give a figural form and the decision to choose cattle as that form, in our terms, it's a, um, a symbolic, a religious value as well as an artistic value. But its purpose reveals a mystery. Whatever it's placed in this vase, and it must be precious because remember you can only get at it by taking out this little plug there. This precious item is, is not necessarily the most important thing in their economy, but it's something to which they attribute an enormous religious value. And religious or economic value aside, why a cow? Is the cow being used because it's in fact quite rare? Or is it typical? And the reason why they're using it because this is part of the mainstays of their lives. The cattle sculpture now resides at the Petrie Museum of Egyptian Archaeology in central London, where curator Stephen Quirk has had some time to get to know it. For him, the stone sculpture reveals a story of early economies and climate change, harking back to an Egypt very different from today's. The Sahara is not a forest, but it's not quite the desert that it is today. And that Egyptologists and archaeologists have tended to think of that area, that environment, as being similar to the savannah. Uh, and people have tended to go into the southern Sudan to find glimpses of ancient Egypt by going into the heart of Africa. But a vastly different ancient landscape is only part of the story. There's an enormous debate raging in Egyptology now about how much the Old Kingdom, the Egypt of the pyramids, the third millennium, um, was still uh, a hunter-gatherer society or a collecting society alongside um, a fairly simple regime of uh, plant uh, domestication um, with a marginal pastoral nomadic world around the outside. Cattle cults existed throughout North Africa for thousands of years before the Egyptian Old Kingdom appeared. A simple explanation is that the owner of this horn copied this tradition linking cattle so key to local economy for religious purposes. The extraordinary thing is, we don't know. For Stephen, there is one more thing. There's something very moving, very poignant about knowing that this object was held. The tip to the nose, the butt to the shoulder, with these other objects. Somehow you feel you may not meet that ancient person themselves, whoever was buried in grave 20, man or woman, but you have a feeling that uh, you meet the society that laid them in the ground.